Hey guys, what's up? Happy New Year. I hope you had a good one. So the first video of this year is about some new 360 cameras that are apparently going to be released quite soon. They are from a company that has previously made 360 cameras before, Kandao, which has announced the third generation of their consumer 360 camera, the KuCam 3. The camera was first announced at the Consumer Electronics Show of 2023, and it seems to be set up to be a direct competitor to the Insta360 X3 and the GoPro Mac. But can it distinguish it Itself, as there are a lot of similar kind of 360 cameras around right now. That also teased at the same time is another Kandao 360 camera due to be released later in the year. So to be fair, I wasn't the first one to notice this. Um, I believe another YouTuber made a video um, about this extra camera that nobody else knew about. So fair play to him. The link will be in the description where you can watch his video. But the KuCam Ultra looks set to be the premium device featuring more advanced specs than pretty much any other consumer 360 camera right now. So let's take a closer look at both of these and all the information that's available on them so far. So this has been rather a low key kind of announcement from Kandao, uh, which probably, I guess they don't have the marketing budget of the biggest um, camera companies out there, with only really an official press release and a few renderings of the camera. It seems they're not ready to release any actual media shot with the camera, or any actual photos of the product itself either. But we do have um, the main specs, so let's take a look at those. The KuCam 3 will feature two 1-1.55 inch image sensors, it will be able to shoot 5.7K resolution at 25 or 30 frames per second and 4K at 30, 50 or 60 frames per second. The lenses will have an aperture of f1.6. You'll be able to shoot 11K 62 megapixel 360 photos. The camera will be waterproof to 33 feet. It will feature four microphones, feature a 2.5 inch touchscreen and internal stabilization. These specs will be pretty familiar to those who've uh, checked out the Insta360 X3 because they're basically near the identical. With the notable exception of the image sensors, the KuCam 3 featuring larger sensors than the Insta360 X3 by about a third or so. These seem to be the largest image sensors of any consumer 360 camera out right now, certainly the largest of any 360 action camera. The larger sensors should allow the KuCam 3 to capture more light, work better in a low light situation certainly, and just generally capture more attractive video better dynamic range. Also the low aperture of f1.6 will assist in shooting low light scenarios so this could be the best 360 camera for shooting in the dark or in low light or at night time but with a max resolution of 5.7k we're still kind of stuck at that resolution it's kind of familiar i guess to people who use these kind of cameras there seems to be the um, ceiling right now so those who are waiting for higher quality sharper 360 video uh, will be disappointed. As for the design of the camera, it's also pretty familiar. In fact, it looks pretty much identical to this, uh, the GoPro Max, which was released about three years ago now. I mean, it, literally looking at that one photo, a couple of photos we have, it's basically exactly the same square design with the touchscreen at the front and two fisheye lenses either side. So yeah, the uh, similarity in the design is hard to ignore, but that doesn't mean it's a clone or an exact replica. Pretty much everything about the KuCam 3, what we know so far is more advanced than the Max. It certainly features larger sensors and can shoot much higher resolution 360 photos. So the reason I think they may have used a similar design is because this sort of um, design, the square kind of thicker design is probably allowing um, the KuCam to feature those larger image sensors because the body is slightly thicker than what we see with other 360 cameras. The downside is that the minimal stitching distance, which is basically how far away the minimum you can be um, before the stitching line between these two lenses becomes apparent, that will be further away than if they used a thinner design, you'd be able to have objects or yourself much closer to the camera. So that is the downside of this kind of design. As for the release and the price, Kandao are being tight-lipped so far. There is no information on how much it's gonna cost or when it's gonna come out. But because they've just released uh, like the information, the press release, you can be pretty sure that the camera will be out in the next few months. 
and we will get some more information on the camera pretty soon. I've certainly reached out to the company to uh, if they have any more information or media, and I will definitely post uh, a new video once I have that information or once I have the camera itself. So what about this other camera, the Ku Cam Ultra, which does look to be a little bit more exciting if I am honest. It doesn't seem to be officially announced. Like I said, it was just a poster that they had as part of their, um, I guess, marketing or whatever. But uh, yes, yeah, somebody found out about it, posted it online, and now we have some information. So it seems to be a more advanced version of their KuCam 3. It won't be released until August at the earliest um, this year. And it seems this camera will be able to shoot 8K 360 video at 30 frames per second and also feature optical stitching, which is basically internal stitching. You won't need to uh, put it into an extra software. You'll be able to stitch this 8K video inside the camera and you'll be able to use it straight away. The hardware will include larger image sensors than the X3, but slightly smaller than what I just told you about the KuCam 3. The camera looks to be slightly larger than the KuCam 3, and also features a couple of physical buttons. 360 camera enthusiast or anyone who's used them before will uh, recognize that 8K video is kind of the holy grail of what we've been waiting for. Um, this much higher resolution will allow us to reframe our 360 video and spit out 4K reframe video, which will match up to um, the quality that you expect in a camera in 2023. Basically the downside of 360 cameras so far, like with this or the X3 is that the reframe video is limited to 1080p, which kind of looks like it was shot in 2008 or something. So if this works, it will allow uh, the quality to catch up quite a lot. But Kandao has promised big things before. They released a couple of years ago, the KuCam 8K, which again promised 8K resolution video in a all-in-one 360 camera, but the camera really suffered with some hardware issues. The first batch was basically unusable because of some um, issues with the lenses not quite being calibrated. And it was just really difficult to use. It was really difficult to get that 8K footage um, rendered and stitched and the software wasn't there at all to make this usable. So hopefully they have learned from that mistake and this is an actually usable 8K 360 camera. If so, then that will be something that a lot of people will be looking for. I'm assuming it will be a much more expensive, probably in the range of around $1,000, I'm gonna assume. If it's less than that, I'll be quite surprised. But it's not coming out for six months anyway, so no, eight months. So yeah, we have a little while for that one. So stay tuned for more information on these cameras. Pretty sure the KuCam 3 will be out um, certainly in the first quarter of this year. Um, yeah, that's it guys. Hope that was useful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to um, comment and like and subscribe if you wanna see more about these cameras as soon as the information comes out. But until then, I'll see you later. Bye.